Okay guys, so if you do not know, I'm telling you now, the second sign of Monster Cat Instinct it has reached over 200,000 subscribers. It may not seem as like a big number, but for this side of the channel, it's a pretty big deal. For ever since the opening trailer of Instinct on January 2nd, 2018 of this year, it's now became a, a place, a new place for Monster Cat people who enjoy like the feel-good vibes, the chill vibes, the groovy vibes of EDM. It's finally coming to them. There is finally a home for them. For so long, for the original channel to be just mostly uncaged with different kinds of drum and bass, dubstep, electronic, electric house, normal house, progressive house, other subgenres, and now to be a an actual place where people can just listen to the music they, that they enjoy. Not like the hard-hitting kind of, you know, rocking songs that I also enjoy myself, but just songs just to chill out with. And... It was a really smart move on Monster Cat's part to make to make Instinct. Because now, there's a home for those people. So, if you're into both hard-hitting songs, you got Uncaged. But if, you're, if you want to hear what's going on in Instinct with their feel-good vibes, their groovy vibes, there you go too. So, it's the best of both worlds for both legions of fans. So, congratulations to Moscat Instinct, and to celebrate it, I'm going to be putting up my top 11 most favorite Moscat Instinct songs. Why top 11? Because I like to go one step beyond. So, for starting with today, and also with YouTube, I'm putting, putting the videos on YouTube, I'm going to be saying my top 11 Fairy Moscow Instinct songs celebrating their 200k subscriber count. So, number 11. Didrick Ray the Fly featuring Adam Young from Owl City. This song here, such a awesome introduction to the new label that is Instinct. And plus, it's freaking Didrick, the same person who made the three-year anniversary mix and the five-year anniversary mix, now having his very first debut official song in a brand new label. And I know that people, many of people, who heard this song knows if this is what, if this is what Instinct is, then... It's going to be a great year for Monster Cat, and a beautiful day for Instinct. A perfect introduction, that's all I can just say to this. And it also helps to have the lead singer from Owl City be in this song. That just shows how big and how impactful Monster Cat is going to be these days. And with songs like Did Drake Ready to Fly being the very first song for Instinct, the hype and the success for this channel was just not stopping. It was only just beginning. It truly was a beautiful start for Moscat Instinct and Moscat in general. Now, number 10. Lucas and Abel Hart on my own. Now this song here, possibly one of my most favorite songs in Luke's Lucid EP. Not just because of the gooey vibe you get from it, but I feel like Abel Hart does absolutely incredible with his vocalist work. The words tell a story. The animation that you see just encapsules you in the... GTA by City vibes that Lucas portrays, that the anime portrays, and just the beautifulness of it just absolutely kills it. And the drop, the freaking drop, is I wouldn't say heavy, obviously not heavy because it's instinct, but it's just good enough 
to make you rock out to it as well and dance to it, like I have before when I first heard this song. To me, another beautiful staple that is Monster Cat Instinct. And the very first, for the very first EP that Lucas ever made for Eclipse, On My Own, and along with Cruella, an absolutely beautiful gem that I just cannot stop listening to, and I bet many other people will never forget. Now, number nine, we have The Night, Different Story. The very first debut, Song of the Night. <clears throat> now, what made this a very special song was not just because it had, it was a Kind of a sub project for Nero, well, a part of Nero, but it was such an amazing, how do I say it, such an amazing angle that they went through. If you know the music of Nero, it's very, there is a heavy sometimes, and their songs are very melodic, but also very heavy as well. Now, for the night, it went a different direction. I did not expect Nero to go, but they found a way, and they just killed it. And I could not be any more happy for them to try something different and make something different. You can say, yeah, it is a different story they're going for. It's a different page they're turning, if I want to be punny. But yes, Megui Vibes, a beautiful song, something that I will happily listen to through the night. Now, number eight. Yep, Savoy, let you go. Now this song here, saying that the song is beautiful is an understatement. But I feel like what makes it so incredible is that, how do I say this? It just has. Many, there is a really great vibes to it. Something that will make anyone either tap their toes or even just <laughs> move their shoulders too. But yeah, Savoy is such an amazing artist and made many amazing songs, both hard and heavy, but entering into the world of instinct, making it feel good vibes, making it groovy, making it groovy vibes. Just an absolutely beautiful song that Deserves a lot of attention and a lot of love. And also, I feel like what kind of stole the show for me was also the message she, the artist typed in. In his words, he typed in, This record, the song Let You Go, is about realizing you can't live without someone. It's both a look at the past when everything was perfect and the vision into the future where everything, when everything will make sense again. Great things take time. To me, that's a really amazing message, and it kind of tells his lyrics with the words, I don't want to let you go, I just want to be somebody. I don't know, I, <laughs> I don't be somebody, I just want to keep on trying. I need to listen to song some more too, which I will happily will. Psst, I messed up big time. But... <laughs> Long story short, it's an amazing song. Love you, Savoy. Now, number seven. That's right. Bad Computer Silhouette featuring Sky L. Now, this song here is possibly one of my most favorite songs from the Monster Cat Rocket League. Monster Cat. Monster Cat. Rocket League Volume 3 album. Mainly because, well, first of all, it's Bad Computer. And he always solidified himself as one of the most, the very one of the most popular rising artists so far in the album, in, in the label. With New Dawn and Disarray, this being his third song he made. And already, it was already a beautiful song we knew. But, to add Skyell in the mix, you knew it was going to get 
so much better. The vibes on this song, top notch. The way how it, this song is really put into a video game, amazing on its own. But this was a song that showed that, once again, that computer can do no wrong. Skyel can do no wrong. Obviously, she can't do wrong. But, down, down, bottom line, another amazing song that solidified Bat Computer in the realm of Monster Cat, both Uncaged and Instinct, and it'll be very incredible to see him do a lot more better work. You already know he did the song Voyage with Savoy. Well, we want more. We obviously want more of that bad computer. Now, number six. Aobon and then About You. This is one of those songs that I remember me repeating over and over again. Not only does it have great vibes, it has that kind of like party feeling to it. It's just a really, really amazing song that just does not fail in putting a smile on my face. It just, it's just so happy. So freaking happy that I absolutely adore it. And there have been certain urges where I had to hold myself from not freaking starting to shuffle my feet when it came to the drop of it. It's just so freaking happy. Basically, if you have a bad day in your life and you're a Moss Cat fan, a Moss Cat Instinct fan, play this song, you'll instantly feel happier. That's the power of Aobot and Vin. So... One of, my favorite, one of my other favorite songs in the Monster Cat and Rocket League Volume 3 album. And for obviously good reason. So, you're feeling, you're having a bad day? Aobot and Vin, here to save the day.